Hey, what's up, everybody? Shadow here. Welcome back to another video. Glad you guys could stop by today. First of all, I'm just going to say I'm sorry I haven't been around for a whole week. I've been at one of my two summer camps. Unfortunately, yes, I am going to another one in a couple weeks here. But I made it back safe and sound. My feet are dirty. Took a shower. Feel wonderful. Then at my doorstep was also a one terabyte hard drive for my PS4. So then I spent a lot of time upgrading it and doing all that stuff. And two days later, all my stuff is downloaded on my PS4. I love it, and I still have 300 gigs left over to do whatever I want with it. But anyway, that is not the point of this video. Today, we are going to be talking about some information Bungie has released on their website. Now, um, if you do go to the website, there is a weekly update that they do every week just talking about what they've done with Destiny, what they're planning on doing, just some basic information. Well, today, they started talking about the collector's editions for the games. Before we start this, I'm just going to let you guys know the gameplay in the background is one of the most amazing moments I've ever had in Destiny. We were playing Trials of Osiris. We were on our ninth game, and one of our teammates leaves. That's right, he leaves. You'll see that in a little bit. But he left the game, and we just, just watched the video. It's just an amazing, amazing video. So just check that out, and we're just going to continue on with this video. So the Bungie Weekly Update... Um, the Luke Smith basically um, is the creative director for Destiny, the Taken King, and he released some images, some images, and he started to talk about the collector's editions for Destiny. And here, as you can see, is a picture of the three shaders and the three armor pieces, the exotic armor pieces, might I say, and then just a picture of the dance that's also going to be included in the game. And the cool thing is that they're going to make the digital content from the collector's edition available in a $20 upgrade bundle, which makes me sort of think that you can might be able to upgrade your $40 version of the Taken King to $60 and get these added benefits without buying the whole game over again for $80, which is pretty cool considering there's some pretty cool stuff in here. And uh, I don't know, I think it'd be really nice to have that cloak. That cloak looks pretty cool and uh, so it, just, it looks nice, it looks nice. And then making a $20 upgradable bundle seems pretty cool. So. That's one of them. If you go down a little bit on the website, they start talking about the digital downloads. And then the biggest thing I thought was the coolest was they started talking about the VIP benefits. All we've heard so far was a shader, an em a year one emblem, and a sparrow. And we don't know anything what it looks like until, bam, now look at that. That looks so amazing. I am so excited that they're actually putting this in the game. This looks ridiculous. I mean, it looks cool. It just looks cool. Here's another picture of it uh, as the header. But anyway, so they're going to be giving us this shader, this emblem, and this uh, sparrow, as you can see. And it's all jet black. It looks so sexy. I'm just saying that. Oh, my God. It looks cool. I, you know, it's sort of like uh, if you're looking for the dead orbit cloak and everything, you don't have to look for it anymore. Uh, if you're looking for the shader, you don't have to look for it anymore because you get it right here. And it looks amazing. They also show off some other armor. Uh, on the Hunter, Warlock, and Titan that we haven't really seen before. So that's pretty interesting. We might get a little bit of a insight on what's going on there. But yeah, I just like the whole tiger little stripe look. It just looks so so jet black and sleek. And then the, shade, the Sparrow. Oh my gosh, man. The Sparrow looks wonderful. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this. And like I said, you will be able to acquire this if you are level 30. Or you purchase the Season Pass for Destiny, the first season pass, before August 31st, I believe is the date. So you'll be able to get all of these cool things. Um, and they did talk a little bit about a $20 upgradable bundle. And they're going to be continuing this tomorrow on the website. And of course, I'll try and cover that. Uh, let's see if I'm actually on and everything. But yeah, so this is part one of two of the Bungie Weekly Update as far as their collector's editions and other info on the Taken King. But yeah, this was just a quick little video. I just want to say I'm back. I'm ready to make some videos. And yeah, so that's some information on the Taken King. I'm very excited for the year one stuff. That looks totally cool. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a like. Let me know what you think about it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I will see you later. Bye.